that's what you are seeing a spectacular northern lights called aurora these brilliant cinematic waves of light have captivated humans attention for thousands of years if you try to look deeper those astonishing colors carry the stories of violent events occurred 93 million miles away yes i am talking about the sun you may be thinking sun as only a shining peaceful star but in reality our sun is a huge ball of plasma which is constantly in flux ejecting coronal mass what happens is sun is constantly radiating charged particles like electrons protons these charged particles travel at the speed of 72 million km per hour this is what we call solar wind the question is what happens when these charged particles come near earth well let's try to find out so what happens when these energized charged particles come near earth well don't worry our mother earth is there to protect us earth's magnetosphere is formed by earth's own magnetic field to explain further earth's core which is made of molten iron acts as a magnet just like any other dipole magnet earth's magnetic field line starts from magnetic north pole to magnetic south pole now most charged particles of solar winds are reflected away from earth's magnetosphere but some manage to enter are redirected by earth's magnetic field towards the pole that's why we see auroras near poles northern light near north pole is called aurora borealis and southern light near south pole is called aurora australis if you see earth's magnetosphere the side which is facing sun has relatively smaller radius than the side facing away from sun well the reason behind smaller radius is because it's continuously bombarded with sun's furious solar winds which compress the magnetic field so what happens next the charged particles enter the atmosphere collides with molecules or atom present in atmosphere like oxygen hydrogen nitrogen so what you see as aurora is just the release energy as light the atmosphere acts as a fluorescent lamp the color of aurora is determined by the type of molecule or atom the charged particles is interacting with the red color which you see is because of the nitrogen molecules and green color occurred because of oxygen molecule well it's not only earth where these auroras occur they can occur in any planet which have uh, atmosphere especially those which have strong magnetic fields we have found auroras even in mars and venus which have weak magnetic field uae government launched hope's mars orbiter in 2021 and it has successfully captured brilliant aurora of mars during night time jupiter whose mass is 300 times and magnetic field is 20000 times than earth has far more brilliant bright auroras if you know about the hubble telescope which no longer works captured auroras of jupiter in the year 2016 nasa launched solar parker satellite in 2018 which aims to learn more about outer part of sun called corona this will help us to understand clear picture of solar winds Do you know that sun's uh, solar wind can affect our communication signals including satellite signals so what happens is when solar winds meets ionosphere it gets super ionized resulted in destructive uh, interference when this interference interact with radio signals they cancel each other causing disturbances to our communication system it actually happens more when strong solar storms are ejected by sun That's why it's important for us to observe and to know more about solar winds and northern lights.